Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Troy Become Human playthrough. Uh, let's continue. First, I want to take a survey for CyberLife that they have been asking me to do since the since the previous uh, video uh, when I was about to um, uh, quit the game. So let's do this now. Do you want to participate? Of course. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? I hope this is not time limited. Yes, no, don't know. Uh, having a relationship. Mm, I wonder what kind of relationship do they mean if it's a uh, friendship, partnership, uh, romantic relationship. I think I'm one of those people who would, uh, because I believe uh, that androids have uh, have feelings and their own will. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm so bad. <laughs> Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Absolutely. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? This is such a common question. I wonder what it says about you. A book, a cell phone, pen and paper, a console, an instrument. I thought... I always thought I would bring... <laughs> okay. A book? On the first glance, I would go with pen and paper, but you know, the ink and the pen will run out, and the paper as well. Uh, either a book or an instrument. I think I would go with an instrument, because a book... You know, how many times can you read one book? And an instrument, you can, you can play and master your skill forever. Let's go with an instrument. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Absolutely. <laughs> Don't we all? Yes. What technology do you most anticipate? Androids, flying cars. Oh, so this is... Oh, so we're taking... Okay, we're taking, taking this survey as... As us, the player, not the... Imagine we are not in the Detroit Become Human... Um, universe right now okay androids flying cars space tourism a brain connected devices okay how many do we already have <laughs> i think we're almost there you know for all of the options so anticipate probably space tourism do you believe in god uh, it's a tricky question. It's like yes and no at the same time. So I would say don't know because I probably don't. Would you let an android take care of your children? <sighs> oh, don't go there. Don't go there. I, I would let Kara take care of me. <laughs> I would let Kara take care of my children, but the other ones... I don't know. Mm mm. Mm mm. Of my dog, maybe, but not of my children. I mean, yeah, uh, dogs and cats are kind of like children too, but you know what I mean. No. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. This is not a no. This is a. Depends on how progressive the androids are. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? I would say more than four hours, I think. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Mm, I think yes. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? I think yes. Oof, all right. Uh, so we got the results here. 
most of the people would have uh, a relationship with an android. I mean, if you're playing this game, then you probably would, all right? <laughs> uh, next, technology could become a threat to man mankind. 70%, yes. Uh, an instrument. I'm picking the most popular answers. Does this mean I'm basic? <laughs> an instrument. Uh, another one is pen and paper. Then a cell. F oh no, a cell phone. Okay, okay. But it's going to. It's going to. The battery is going to die. What are you gonna do then? A uh, book and pen and paper. All right. An instrument. Eighty-five percent are dependent on technology. Nine percent. Who are you people? I'm so envious of you. Uh, androids, space brain connected devices. Forty-one percent. People are more excited about this than about androids. Uh, flying cars. Nobody. <laughs> nobody needs that. Do you believe in God? Yes, no, don't know. Okay, here I'm in the minority. Uh, would you let Android take care of the kids? No. Yes, 53%! You guys are ter terrible parents. <laughs> How much time per day? More. 77. Okay, nerds. Uh, an emergency surgery, 73% would choose yes. Okay. Do you think 69? Nice. Okay, I have no idea where we are. Let's go find her. Uh, and I don't know who Amanda is either. Oh, there's a, there's a path that we should follow. This is not an open world. Wait. Uh-huh. So, do we go... Through the... Across the small bridge or the big bridge? I see something over there. I need to explore this 100%. You know how it is. There is no world map. But I want to see everything. In this area. Oh, it's a cemetery. Oh, that's me. Connor Mark M Mark 1. Alright, died at 1554 Parks Avenue, Detroit. August 15th, 2038. August 15th. Alright. Is this my cemetery? Is this a Connor cemetery? Full of Connors. I can't believe this. Okay. Let's keep going. Mm, it looks like a path. Wait, wait, wait. I really want to go across this bridge. This is beautiful. Ooh, is that Amanda? All right, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before we go talk to her, I want to see how many Connors are buried here. I mean, maybe just one since we died only once, right? Ooh, it's pretty. Can we go over there, please? Please? No. Connor is such a cutie. Oh my god. Oh, what's this? Maybe we shouldn't have done that yet. Maybe we should have talked to Amanda first, but no, no. We have to explore first. 
I have to see everything. Um, okay, we can go over here. All right, just one tombstone. The cemetery is kind of empty. The cemetery is kind of dead. I'm sorry. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Wow, Connor is smiling. Congratulations, Connor. For once. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Oh. Thank you, Amanda. I try my best. <laughs> We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Traumatized deviancy, uh, traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Uh, unpleasant, dysfunctional, intriguing. I find him intriguing, but I don't know about Connor. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What Not do you think mind. is the best approach? Friendly, adapt, indifferent, don't know. Yeah, let's uh, try to I be will friends. Try to establish a friendly relationship. Yeah. If I can get him to trust she me, didn't it like... be helpful for the investigation. She didn't like that. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. Oh my god. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. This is crazy. So, okay, this is why... This is why we're working in all Hurry, those Connor. cases. There's little time. Because nobody... Nobody else can do it. Humans can't do it. Other androids can. Can't. We're the goat. Jobless people are striking again. He does this. He did this at the beginning of the game too. Oh, look, this guy. This guy looks impressed. Oh, it's like a memorial. What are you looking at? Don't cross the line. Oh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I'm supposed to go to this line. Uh, let me look Might around first. Just take it easy. Yeah. Tensions in the Arctic. Would you mind getting me some water, please? A Russian carrier and an American for sure. Last, last night, several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. There you go. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. It shouldn't be too long. The now. countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada have called for military forces to withdraw and an international the Russians making held. trouble again so far there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington we'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops okay can't talk to anyone can't examine anyone all right let's go talk to the lady she's she's been looking at us this whole time can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. She's an android too, right? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I couldn't see because Lieutenant of her. Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. All right. Just didn't notice it. Okay. Look for Mr. Na Mr. Anderson. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, still nothing here. Let's go. Let's go try get some water. Do androids need to drink, I wonder? I'll just go through. There we go. Look at this police department. It was him! It was him! Oh damn, they all look the same. How do I know which one did it? <gasps> it's Todd! <gasps> he's looking for a lost android. Oh my god, he's looking for Kara. We have to stop him. We have to kill him. No, we cannot intervene. Oh my god, we can't do anything. Those are two separate stories. I wonder if they intertwine at some point. Okay, that's his desk. Desk located. You First try. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. Ha <laughs> ha. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Can I walk around? Oh, no, 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 no. Eh, damn it. I really wanted to explore first. I didn't realize that was his desk already. Explore! Yay! I'm tired of waiting. Uh, progress this case. Wait, I, why I can't see the... Uh... Okay, first of all... Examine his desk and police station. Should I do this in a particular order or it doesn't matter? Okay, I'm starting to recognize androids uh, from the crowd because they have, some of them have uh, identical faces, like these, like these guys. Yeah, those are just, uh, those are just android uh, police workers. Hello. Doing a briefing. Somebody got busted. Oh, <gasps> is that? Is it? Is this? It's him. I hate him. Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Can I just ignore him? Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. This is what I wanted to do. Never seen an android like you before. Model. Too expensive for you. RK800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. <laughs> I, Get a move on! I wasn't programmed for that, excuse me. I gave you an order. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> that didn't hurt. If Hank hadn't gotten the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way. Because next time, you won't get off so easy. So mean. Oh my god. Okay. Poor Connor. Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided That's it? Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. This is we contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available That's to us, answer our right? questions. That's us, right? 
The first book written by an artificial intelligence has just been published, and to call it a success would be an understatement. Do Humans Dream of Mammalian Sheep has shot to the top of the bestseller list. Okay, Moreover, another reference to an Android book. Uh, all right, but I want to see what else is here before going to the desk. Oh shit! I thought I thought it was a toilet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought this was a toilet, but oh uh, yeah, they're they're uh, questioning that guy that we saw earlier that got busted apparently. Uh, no, we we cannot cannot eavesdrop. Let's go back. All right, it actually says. Yeah. Oh, this is the toilet. Oh, and we can enter. Let's go. Yeah, I'm perfect. I am so perfect. I'm better than everyone. I'm better than all the androids. I'm better than all the humans. Okay, let's go back. I love how cinematic this game is. Oh. What? What, <laughs> what are you looking at? Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Let's annoy him. <laughs> Sit. I can't do anything from behind the bars. I mean, uh, the, the, the glass. <gasps> oh, it's our guy! It's our deviant. Does he remember us? Damn, I feel so bad for this guy. They're going to destroy me. Sincere, cold, compassionate, indifferent. Sincere. It's probable. They have to analyze your bio components. They need to understand what happened. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. A statue of secrets? Okay. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. Can we ask him about everything? Damn. We should have asked him about something else. Let's set him free. It's not too late, Connor. It's not too late. Open the cell, quick. Okay. Hurry. All right. That's how he decided to self-destruct. Oh no! I hope we did not cause this. I hope. Oh, cyber life. This mess up. Shit. Did we ask him the wrong thing? Whoopsie. I'm out of here. Before they accuse me. Shit. Oh, no, 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 I thought it was, uh, Anderson. It's the other guy. Who is also an actor. Oh, no, I did not- see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. Oof, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, listen, no, 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 no. Let me, uh, let me do this first. Haven't checked out his desk. 
It's kind of important. Anti-Android slogans. Use your brain, not your Android. Android free space. Ouch, that's offensive. Uh-uh-uh. Troy basketball cap. Okay. Uh, does that open like dialogue options and stuff? Matches. Jimmy's bar. Uh, isn't this the bar where we met him? Hair. Dog. Sam Bernard. He has a doggo. Oh, look at him! This guy, that's back from when he was young. I, I keep forgetting the name of the actor, but yeah, the one that plays Hank. Red Eyes Task Force. That's from That's from 10 years ago. Uh, good... Good Cow? Real Police? Asshole? Nice Girl? Nutsome? It's not seen since 2019. Owe me $50. <laughs> oh, what a wholesome picture. I like the asshole, especially. Uh, Alright, what else do we have? Mmm, donuts. Calories 452! Saturated fatty, fatty acids. 13 grams cholesterol, 19 milligrams. Carbohydrates, 51 gram. Okay, I don't know anything about, um... Uh, what are those called? Uh, facts. Um, ah, okay, I don't know how to say this in English. In English I'm sorry. Japanese maple. Uh, it looks dead. Looks like it hasn't been taken care of. Cold coffee, traces of caffeine. Okay. Mm, yeah, all right. Nothing else. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's. Oh, listen. What? Uh, probably listen to a podcast or something. Oh no. <laughs> Knights of the Black Death. Heavy metal. Is this an actual band? That would be cool. Okay, now let's go check them out. Let's eavesdrop. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. Yeah, I wonder. Shit about androids, I wonder I why they make him do this, home. especially Everybody since he hates it. androids. You're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit. The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder. Because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus. I used to talk to my boss like this a couple of times. Fucking things? Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Sorry, Hank. I guess you're stuck with me. Hey, what's up, friend? Hi, friend. Let's go have some coffee, friend. Let's go to Jamie's bar. I hang out. Check on Hank. I, I I don't know if Hank wants to be checked on by me specifically. Can I? Oh, I I wanted to sit um across that somebody else's desk. Okay, let's just talk to him. Understanding, pragmatic, constructive. Uh, 
can we be understanding, really? He just called me a plastic prick. I don't want to be understanding with this guy. Okay, let's go with pragmatic. Listen, I know you don't like me, but we're going to have to work together. We'll both have to make an effort. Oh, I have a locked option. Partners, positive. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. I thought he liked me. What's the positive? Like, f desk. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Oh, see, I wanted to take it. All right. I'll come back later when he come down a little bit. Oh, see? Now we get all those dialogue options unlocked because we um, examined his desk. Okay. What should we talk about? To warm him up a little bit towards us uh, basketball I don't know shit about basketball dog music anti-androids can we talk about anything just let's talk about a dog first okay that seems like the least controversial topic you have a dog right how do you know that the dog hairs on your chair I like dogs What's your dog's name? Nice. What's it to you? Sumo. Aww. Oh, I knew. Kong Sumo. I knew he would appreciate that. Uh, Fowler. Uh, basketball music. Okay, let's talk about music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal. That's so generic. <laughs> I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> okay. Um, do you like this? I like that too. Do you have this? I would like to have that too. Like, this is so fake. Uh, I don't know how Hank is falling for this, but... Alright, let's talk about basketball now. Fowler hours. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denny I'm a fan too. 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. God damn it! See, I knew, I knew, basketball and anti-androids is probably a, is probably a bad idea to talk about. Urgh. All right, what if he hates me for talking about anti-androids? Okay, let's not touch that subject. But I'm really curious. Hank, Hank, why you have to be so difficult? All right, okay, let's go, I don't care. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. At least we get to know him better. Shit, I knew this! I knew this would happen. Um, I knew this, but I went with it anyway because I'm curious. See, he has a reason for hating androids. And we're about to find out what that reason is, okay? I don't, I don't care that we... We kind of uh, screwed up our relationship over that question, but... I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? He's always fashionably late. He's like me when I'm streaming. I, sh I start the stream when I start the stream, okay? I can't be late for my own stream. Okay, I agree with you, Hank. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Oh, Fowler is, an, is a yeah. last name. Too long. It's the his boss. Boss. Okay. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. 
terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. This man needs some whiskey. Okay, those are the missing androids. Oh, we're going to see Kara here. Alright, so this guy. Disappearance. Gordon Lopez. Uh, case assigned to Anderson. Case status status open. Involves an android. Report to date. Agency. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, the plaintiff reports that he left his android at home as usual when he went to work when he returned the android was nowhere to be found no trace of a break-in in the apartment the android may have left the home without being ordered to oh oh okay i just uh uh another one suspect uh the plaintiff claims to have been attacked by av 500 oh this model looks familiar. No, I don't think we've seen... No, maybe we've seen this one before. Working as a waiter in the Fast Connie Dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff uh, claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. Okay, probably this man was, uh, uh, was being rude. Remains at large. Okay... Uh, attack. Another case. Attack. Sarah Cornwall. I've been attacked by her android. Also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Okay. Scan all files. Missing. Disappearance. Uh, manager of the Eden Club reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex a oh it's the sex android club uh, disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never turned to the club uh wait let me see destroyed <gasps> famous painter car this is Marcus this is Marcus was found dead in his home following an uh, altercation between his android and his son the uh, letters witness statement attest to the android behaving violently the android is thought to be a prototype unknown model and serial number and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers oh damn this is Marcus Kara finally attacked by his domestic android wait what Excuse me, I had a chance to shoot you, you... <laughs> but I just, I picked the most possible peaceful solution and uh, turns out he was violently attacked by us. Uh, had just returned from being repaired the previous day and shows no sign, show no sign of aggression in the past. Doesn't mention the daughter, doesn't mention the uh, kidnapping, abduction of a child. What the hell? This guy, I swear. Oh, there were more. Two hundred and forty-three files. Oh shh. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. You haven't been doing shit! An AX four hundred is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Oh, so the stories do intertwine. Time to work! Time to work, baby! Direct aggressive professional. Profession- we are- I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant. But I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> Look at Cutter's face! I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So it's how you liked me. me. But things are going to get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400. From beating the shit out of your side. android? It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it.
Did you like that? Did you like that, Connor? <laughs> Hmm, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's see what we got here. 76%, public opinion skeptical, software instability. Mm, I don't, I still don't know what that is. Okay, Hank is still warm towards us. Amanda is trusted, all right. We found magic stone, but I still don't know what that is. Uh, check the graves. I have the police station, saved in the interrogate, uh-huh. Talk with Carlos's android, self-destructs. Talk with Gavin, uh, explore the station. See, those two, like, we haven't done something here. Examine Hank's desk. Uh, we missed out a bunch at exploring the police station. Talk to Hank, blah, 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 Hank is mad. Oh, I guess there are two outcomes. Maybe if he doesn't like us, uh, we get the bad uh, ending and he still likes us, so he got a lead. All right, I think this uh, this wasn't too bad. Uh, let's go forward. I hope the little girl doesn't get sick. Okay, she's warm. See, I was wondering if an android can keep you warm. Change appearance, cut hair, fi- Ooh! Nice. We get to do- We get to do some, uh, how do you say that? Some makeover. Uh, some of you guys have told me that uh, while escaping from Todd, I picked the most, the safest option. Uh, but this was not very safe to do. <laughs> so I'm just glad that, you know, I could keep the kiddo warm uh, and safe. Nobody found us. That's all that matters. Oh, don't leave her. Don't leave her. Are you kidding me, Kara? I mean, the girl's probably smart not to not to run off. Okay. Oh, there's something in the trunk. Need tool. All right. I thought androids were strong. Death to androids, nice. Oh, oh damn! I wonder if we could have uh, seen this, you know, in the previous uh, chapter when we just got here. Because you guys told me that I could have started the car. Uh, in. There's a tool. Found it. Wait, before we open it, let's see what else is here. I was so stressed doing this, uh, doing this episode. I don't know. I just thought the longer I wait, the colder the kiddo gets, and she's gonna get sick. And I don't know. Catch cold. Oh. Detroit today. We can't read it. Because we got some business to do. Some trunk opening business. There was a jacket here. That we could have used to keep the girl warm. I guess we were going to use that for... Uh, as a disguise. Okay, okay, okay. Cut hair. All right, to the salon we go. Can we just swap heads with this? <laughs> could, could could we just swap he heads with the, with this android? You know, 
He doesn't need his anymore. Uh, Alright, where do I... Where do I go to? I feel... I feel terrible leaving the kiddo behind, but, you know, I hope... I hope it's fine. Uh-oh. No haircut today, Kara. No, 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 no. Uh, maybe I could go... Mm, what's, what's this? This is something new. Ah, stop, stop. Okay. Let's go kill the police officer. Oh, we're going to cut our hair. Oh. <laughs> That's for cutting the hair. Alright, sorry. Easy. I cut my bangs myself. It's easy. <laughs> Kara, you're so cute. Um, select new color. Accessing options. Wait, you can change your own hair color just, just like that. Uh, blonde, white, black, finish. Okay, let's try blonde. Uh, yeah, blonde suits her better, I think. What about white? Uh, cool, but too flashy. You know, we need to stay unnoticed. So it has to be something natural. Black. No, 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 no. That's not your color, honey. I'm sorry. Let's go with blonde. Oops. Let's try again. The girl isn't gonna recognize us. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's it? Let me see. I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, yeah, I guess after we've done with uh, all the... Appearance. Changing. Put the jacket over the girl! Wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday? Yeah. He gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Go then. She does not look good. She looks pale as f You're pretty like that. Ah, thank you. You really look like a human now. We need to get something to cover the poor girl. Oh my god. All right, let's uh jump over this fence somehow. I don't know. I don't know how. We're not going across the street. There's a dude over there. Um, okay, let's look if he's still there. I he's gone. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. All right, that's all for now. Ready to go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Cutter is just chilling under the rain. Sorry. 
took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. How do you know? Deviants do. <laughs> they get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. Do I make an irrational decision? All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Don't do this. Maybe. Connor. Connor, don't do this. I was good to you. <laughs> Please don't do this now. I mean, they're not going to recognize me, probably. I don't know if androids can, you know, um, identify each other. All right, level, danger level, danger level. Sorry. We need to decide quick. I need to pee. <laughs> 